Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Tuesday, July 13th. For getting today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice, easy winner with the longest home run in the home run derby over 510 and a half feet, a minus 110 on FanDuel. Line climbed all the way up to around 519 and a half, and Soto hit one 520. So whatever number you got, you should have got a nice, easy winner, and we did as well. So look for another winner here on Tuesday. And for the play of the day, we'll be talking about the only game on the card, which is going to be on the All-Star game in Major League Baseball. And for this matchup here, we like a prop, and we like a run to be scored in the first inning at minus 122 on FanDuel. Time recording of 12.57 a.m. Eastern Time. A couple reasons why I like a run to be scored in the first inning. First of all, simply shopping your lines. It's available at minus 122 on FanDuel. Same prop is available at minus 141 on DraftKings. So you're already saving 19 cents of value. No questions asked, and I'll take that to the bank every time. Now, looking at the actual pitchers for this matchup, I do have some concerns about both starting pitchers. You have Otani pitching for the AL. Now, first of all, people might remember him being in yesterday's competition because he wasn't the home run derby. So I do question if he will be fatigued from that. But if you also want to look at his recent performances, he has allowed one run or more in the first inning in each of the last two starts. So he has had issues getting off to good starts on the mound. And I do think against the likes of Tatis, Muncie, and Arenado, who are going to be the top three for the NL and potentially even some more guys down the road, I think Otani could struggle in the spot, especially in altitude at Coors Field with the wind blowing out. I do think Otani could give up at least one run in the spot. Meanwhile, looking at who's pitching for the National League, you have Max Scherzer, who has, who has well, been pretty fortunate to be put in this position because DeGrom would be starting if DeGrom did not opt out. However, Scherzer struggled in his last start, allowed seven runs against the Padres. And if you look at his numbers in his career at Coors Field, they are not good. He has pitched 26 innings in his career, 5.88 ERA in Coors. So I do think that he might struggle in this spot, potentially against the likes of Otani, Vlad Jr., and Bogarts, as one of them could take him deep. Vlad Jr. also has two career home runs against Scherzer, so he has seen the ball well off of him, and I think that there's a decent chance one of those three, if not Judge, who's batting fourth, could drive in a run or even go yard themselves. But looking at the wind in this matchup, you do have wind blowing out to right center at roughly seven miles per hour. So you have the wind blowing out in altitude, and you have two pitchers. One might be battling with uh, some fatigue after the home run derby yesterday and has struggled in the first inning lately of starts. Meanwhile, Scherzer is pitching, and he was awful in his last start and is awful in his career at Coors Field. I think that this price of minus 122 is a very solid deal for a game that has a total of about 11, and I do think you'll see at least one run into the first innings. The play that once again here for Tuesday, July 13th, is going to be on the MLB All-Star Game run to be scored in the first inning at minus 122 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.